Hey some Ninja, it's Rose. Welcome back to the School of Mathematics Nigeria. So today we'll be talking about expansion, which can also be said to be opening the bracket. So we're using the first term to open the second bracket. And you could call this method the FOIL method. So let's see how it goes. In this case, we're going to pick this first term and use it to open the second bracket and then pick the second term and open the second bracket. Okay, so in this case, what is first? x times x represents first, right? x times 3 represents i alpha. And then picking the second term times this x represents inner. And then picking the this to multiply the last means last. I hope that makes sense. So now you have x times x to be x squared. You have x times 3 to be 3x. You have 2 times x to be 2x. And then you have 2 times 3 to be 6. Of course, you know this is an algebraic expression because there is no equal sign, so it's not an equation. So we can add these two terms that look alike. So you have x squared plus 3 plus 2 is what? 5x plus 6. This is where you stop because you can't add square to x. x squared and x are two different things. These are not the same. So they stop here. And if you know, you know, this is called the quadratic <laughs> equation, right? So let's have more examples. This is called a binomial. This is called a trinomial because you have two terms. You have three terms. Take note of that, okay? So like we said, using the FOIA method, pick this and open this next bracket. So you have two X opening this one, right? And then you have five opening the second bracket still. Just make sure you know how to multiply correctly. So 2x times x squared would give us 2s cubed because we have 1x here and you have 2. And then when you add the terms, remember your indices, we have a video, we'll post the link here. So 1 plus 2 is 3 because they have the same base, you do that. So you have 2x cubed plus 2 times 3 is 6 x times x is x square right 2 times 4 is 8 don't forget your x plus 5 times x squared is 5x squared plus 5 times 3 is 15 don't forget x plus 5 times 4 is 20 right so looking at this you would have to collect like terms you have to put together the things that can be further expressed for that simplified so this is 2x cubed plus we have 6x squared this one has square so they are like take it closer to this right and then continuing this take it closer to this and then the constant right so you have 2x cubed plus 6 plus 5 is what 11 x squared plus 8 plus 15 is what 23 x plus 20. now saying that they all have different degrees you cannot add them so you stop here okay we've done algebraic expression and how to actually collect like terms and all of that so if you do not have an idea I'll leave a link here so you can see where we started from and you can, you know, be up to date. So let's solve one more example, right? Yeah. Okay, so now you know what to do. Pick the first term. Open the second bracket with it. And then pick the second term from the first bracket and open the second bracket with it right so now this would open this bracket and this would open this bracket that's multiplication so 2 times 4 is 8 x times x squared cube is x raised to the power of 4 indices makes us know that so there's a plus here plus times minus is minus take note of your signs 2 times 5 is 10 x times x is x squared right 
plus times minus is minus. We usually don't write a plus in front of. So it just indicates, means the same thing. Then two times seven is 14, x. Don't forget your x. Moving on to the next bracket. Six times four is 24, x cubed. Plus times minus is minus. Six times five is 30. Plus times minus is minus. Six times seven is what? 42. Okay, so from here, you look for the ones with the same power, right? And then bring them closer to each other. So you have 8x raised to the power of 4. I want to arrange them, you know, in a descending order. So I'm bringing this cube here. Remember, you're not pressing any equal sign. So there's no sign that would be changing. So bringing this closer doesn't change it to a minus because it's not an equal sign that you're crossing, right? I hope we know that. Okay, moving on, we have this square, right? There's no other square. Moving on, we have this. Bring it to this. Then we have this, right? So you are left with this. That's 24x cubed. This, okay, minus 10x squared. So these two have the same power. The power to one, right? They are like so. You're owing 14 and you're also owing 30. All together, you're owing what? You're owing 44x. So you get to stop here because all of their powers are different, so it makes them different. I hope we're able to understand this expansion that we did today. As usual, I'll be giving you yours to do. Okay, let us know your answer in the comment section this is also a case of expansion so it doesn't look like we're doing just binomials and trinomials and not considering a case like this so this is a term trying to open this bracket so you know what to do three times two three times x and then you stop here because we cannot add this term together right so so in summary as Expansion is a process of distributing terms and simplifying um, an expression, right? You're given an expression and you're asked to simplify, so you just distribute, which involves parentheses, of course. You can call them brackets too. We discussed that on Instagram. So if you're not following us on other social media platforms, now is the time. The links are in the description box. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Give this video a like, a thumbs up so you can let the algorithm know that you like and want to see more content like this. It would help us to, so people, more people can get to learn just as you've learned, right? Thank you so much, some Nigerians, as we see the love. Subscribing, liking, sharing. It's a lot. Thank you so, so much. We're so grateful, right? And if you want to really connect with us, you can follow us on other social media platforms. That's a way you would really, really connect with us. Ask your questions, get in the DM, send an email. It's always available, okay? Okay, so um, I hope you learned something today. Until next class, bye. Hey, some night. Yeah. The noise outside is a lot, right? Of all days today.